chances Epic Anti-Bullying Campaign does bullying education in schools across South Africa. We've been doing this now for the past six years. So we go out into schools and we tell children why it's not okay to, to bully. And we do so by telling Chauncey's story, what he experienced. And now in lockdown, we couldn't go out to school. So what we started is a feeding kitchen at Oasis Farm here in Chalk Lane. I would say the biggest challenges in our community is people going hungry, children going hungry. That might at this point be an even bigger challenge. So we're not funded. So um, what we normally do is we do fundraising. And um, because of lockdown, obviously we can't do fundraising now. But um, since we started, there's been two people that has been really carrying us. And that is ex um, Protea player JP Dumini. He's also Chauncey's cousin. And then Malbro in Epping, Glenn Hennick. We were able to go out and assist. Look, when we started Chances Epic, we went as far as Victoria at our own expense. That would open doors for us, that would open doors for victims of bullying and bullies as well. Because we must remember, it's not only the victims that need support and need help, it's the bullies as well. What I'd say is thank you and God bless you. Because that donation that whoever brings on board, that helps us to get to another child that was possibly going to take his or her own life. So by donating, you're helping us to go out there and to tell children, especially victims of bullying, you're not alone. When we go out, we speak about Shanae Roberts who took her own life at the age of 17. And we don't want any more of those. I've had to deal with, with, with parents who lost their children because of bullying. And if we can stop that, then I welcome anyone to take our hand and to join us on this journey against bullying. And we look forward to do much more in the future. By making a donation, or even just by sharing their story, you can help make a change.